Hello, welcome to Die Rolling. I'm the ever excitable Adam and the T-Virus hasn't quite taken me out yet, but I'm, I'm pretty close to it. So we're going to do RPD3 and hopefully escape from Nemesis along the way, or maybe fight him to the death. Well, let's see. Um, this will be our maybe near, we're right at the end here. So we've basically got this video and if I succeed, we've got two more, hopefully after this, maybe more depending on how poorly or how well I do, we'll see. Anyway, let's see how I do with RPD3. Despite your best efforts to drive the undead away, the Raccoon City Police Department fell. Now you race headlong through streets and back alleys, the horde at your heels. Gasping for air, you pay no heed to the commotion caused by your desperate sprint, driven solely by the need to escape the horde behind you. This scenario takes place in the Raccoon City streets. In this scenario, the characters have been forced to abandon the Raccoon City Police Department and are now fighting their way to safety. The objective for the scenario will depend on what choice the players make during the scenario. So we've shuffled the Magnum Bullets into the A deck, um, we've added an Unnatural Strength card into the uh, Tension deck, which means our Tension deck is now full with everything that's in there. And we have the Item B deck has a Magnum and two First Aid Sprays in there. Um, so we're looking at our characters here. So um, I put the Empty Shotgun into the, um, into the Item box. So we have handgun ammo here and shotgun ammo um, is three, handgun is 15 of course. Um, and a knife. So Carlos is starting off fully healed and he's got three item slots left. And then over here, Jill Valentine, she's got four items in here and four items left. We've got the assault rifle in there, but no ammo. She's got a handgun all the way to the top and four grenade launcher ammo as well in there. Um, all of them fully healed up. Um, it doesn't look like it's a really big level, but what happens in this is depending on what we do in here, Depends on what happens next. We might decide to fight Nemesis or we might fight, decide to run. I imagine I'm going to run. If you've seen, if you watch any of my <laughs> my videos so far, it's pretty pretty uh, obvious I will probably run. So we're going to shuffle the tension deck so you know I'm not cheating myself out of a loss here. Uh, we have our A item deck, which is full of ammo that we really want to get. Because uh, they've got some cool weapons, but just don't have the ammo for it. Okay, so let's take a quick look at the uh, level itself. So we've just got this one-way door here. Uh, we've got through here, we've got a dog over there. Um, we've got to go all the way up here, through here, and into this room here. We have our C item there. We need that to be able to um, progress to the next scenario, which will be Clock Tower 1, depending on how well I do on this. So let's see how we get on. And as always, we start with Jill. So Jill, one, two, moving in for three. Let's roll to see what we get. We get a four, and that is one zombie and a corpse. So where is the... Okay, so a zombie there, a corpse over there. Whoop. So it was one to move there, two to open, three to move in there. We're going to then move up there for four. And our first tension card is a dead rising. Roll the encounter dice. If uh, that is rolled, replace each corpse on this tile with a zombie. If the first result is not um, is not one of these, then we re-roll the dice. Uh, we are in this the top danger level. It is one of those, so we do have a zombie coming out. Now, interesting, there are no typewriters on this level, and there's no item box. So, oof. One, two... Three, four. He's just running. And a murder of crows. Um, all characters on this tile must pass an evade roll or suffer one damage as the crows swoop in and we have to remove this card from the game. So we're going to start with Carlos. Yep, he avoids. And then Jill also avoids. Nice. So it's Jill's turn. Jill is going to try to move into this space here. And yeah, she does it. So one, two, three. We're going to roll on this. Hopefully get high. Four is going to be a zombie and a corpse again. And she's going to move onto this space here. Uh, we roll it. I see if we get a zombie up here. Hopefully not a zombie. Not a zombie. <laughs> And our tension card is a death rattle. Spawn a zombie in the same square as his character, and after spawning, the zombie performs a basic attack. Yikes. Uh, 
and we avoided it, thankfully. Okay, Carlos is going to try to move into into this space here, and we <laughs> he takes a damage. Uh, second action to move into there. Third action, he's going to move into this space, hopefully not um, spawning a zombie. Yep, we got a zombie there. And then he's going to use one of his shotgun shells to hopefully take out uh, both zombies. Oh, let's get the zombie on there first. Hopefully take out both of these guys at one go. Um, that's one. It does one damage to everyone on the tile, so apart from Jill, of course. Uh, everyone reacts to that. Oh, a bit there. And then we have the zombie movement phase. He's attacking Carlos. Carlos managed to avoid that attack. Do you know what? I'm just, I kind of feel like just moving this away because I know it's going to be, uh, I know that that is going to be a kind of opened uh, route. And we got all clear, finally, an all clear, some good news. Jill's turn. Jill is going to try to move into that space there. Uh, she takes one damage, pushes the zombie away. Do you know what? Let's try and use our grenade launcher to take out everyone in that zone. That would be a fantastic use of our dice. But we know that this is going to fail because it's Resident Evil. So uh, misses. These guys come into her space. She's going to... She's going to try and move into there. So her first action was trying to move. Her second action was shooting. She missed. Third action, she's going to try and move. Yeah, she does a full of eight, so she moves over there, three, and then she's going to move there for four. These guys all move into Carlos's space. They attack Carlos, and Carlos takes a single damage and pushes one of them away. And we get a rabid grouse spawn a zombie dog on this tile on the closest spawn point. Okay, Carlos is go. He's got his shotgun. Um, he's going to shoot into his space, hopefully take out two of these guys. Uh, and yeah, he took out two of those guys in that space. Jill would have moved in there, to be fair. Where is that door? The door's there, right? Yeah, the door is there. It must have knocked in. Jill would have actually moved into this space because that's where the door was. Um, but yeah, anyway, we take out these guys. Uh, Carlos is going to spend three of his handgun ammo to try and take out this guy on his space. Boom. He's going to move there, then he's going to shoot this dog. Same thing. Yep. I'll be honest, it feels a lot more dangerous now we're in the red zone. Uh, Vigor Mortis, enemies on the same tile as character, immediate form of reaction. Enemies on the same tile as other characters, immediate form of reaction. So, luckily, we don't have to worry about that. Uh, Jill is opening this door for one action. Whoop, there's a B item, not an A item, Adam. Uh, she does actually have line of sight on the dog, so she's going to shoot the dog through the door. Yoice, we killed it. So there's one to open, two to shoot, three, four. All clear. Carlos is going to go one, two, we're going to roll on the dice, and we're going to get a six. Come on, six. It was a three, that's not as good. One zombie and all enemies on this tile and link tiles perform a move action. So he's all the way, just off camera there. Gonna follow these guys on our little escape. So he moves one space there. So I think he's got two actions left. Three, four. Brr. And we get a disturbed nest spawner. Drain Demos on this tile in the closest spawn point, which is literally behind where Carlos is. Over to Jill. Jill is gonna pick up this B item and it's one of three things. It's a first aid spray. One action, do that. Two, she's gonna close this door. And she's going to move over there. And then she's going to pick up a splintering wood. Spawn a zombie in a... Sorry. Flip the closest barricade to show an art pathway. If there are no barricades on the playing area, replace the closest non-locked, non-one-way door with an archway. And spawn a zombie in a square connected to the archway. Well, we got one there. And we've got to spawn a zombie. So we'll put a zombie in there. Why not? Why not? Okay, Carlos. Carly boy. He's going to move into this space. He's then going to try to move into there. See if we can avoid this. Uh, no, he takes a damage, pushes that guy back. He is now in the orange level. So, um, so we move in there for one, trying to move for two, three, four. Rawr. 
these guys have a speed of two. Tough hide. Um, so for one round zombies which are killed are replaced with corpses. For one round zombies suffer one less damage from attacks. And for one round zombies cannot be damaged by attacks. So yeah, we can't kill zombies this round. Which is fine because it's just Jill's go. One, two, three, four. Destructive raid. So we're going to find the closest A item. That's going to be over there. We're going to roll a dice. One, two, or three, it's gone. I Every time this happens, I, I kind of feel like every time I do this, it always happens. Okay, Carlos. One, open for two, three. We've got to roll a dice to see if that spawns a zombie. Then we've got to roll a dice to see what happens in this room. Six. Six of amber is one zombie. So uh, we place a zombie over here. And we're going to close the door as his last action. Roll a dice again, see if a zombie spawns in that space. It was close. Jill's go. But not before we again. All clear for Carlos. Jill's go. So she's going to go one, two, three, four. All clear for Jill. Carlos is going to go one, two. We're going to roll, not get a one. He's going to pick that for three, not get a one. And he has found a first aid spray. He's then going to, he's going to have to use that straight away, really. Well, no, we're going to move him over here. He gets an all clear. Guess what Jill's up to? One, two, three, four. And all clear. I'm about a third of the way through the deck, I think, uh, now. Okay. Now, I'm fairly certain I can use this item in the same space as the zombies. Um, so I'm going to try and use the first aid spray on Carlos. It makes more sense to try to move out of that space, though, doesn't it? We're going to try and move in there because it's the same roll. Yep, so we move in there. Roll a dice, got a four, so uh, we're then going to move in there for his second action. Get high, get high, get high. Six, in the yellow room is unsettling feet, immediately draw a card from the tension deck. We go all clear. He's moved there for three, and then he's going to use his first aid spray to get him back up to the fine area. And then we draw an all clear. Okay, Jill is going to go one, two, three, four. Can she outrun these guys? I don't think so. All clear. Carlos, one, two, three, four. Tremor. Next character may only perform two actions during their phase. Um, so Jill's running down here. We're going to get Carlos to hopefully open up this door for her. Again, all clear. One, we're opening this door, and what that does now is basically it's now anybody can uh, come through here. So he's going to go three. Oh, I didn't move these guys. So he's opened that door. He's basically unlocked it. So we're actually going to close that, and then we're going to move up here. All clear. Uh, Jill is going to go one. She's going to open this for two, three. Or oh. all well, clear. Carlos is picking up this item A. And he found some gunpowder A. Um, so that was his first action. We're gonna hold on to that to that for the moment. Two, three, four. Whoop. Zombies coming for us. Uh, we get an all clear. Jill, one, two, three, four. All clear. Carlos is going to try and use his last shotgun shell to uh, kill these guys. Wish me luck, guys. Yep, they're gone. That's one for that. Two, three. Rolling high on here, please, Adam. Five is one zombie in a grave wind. Open the closest non-locked door. Um, well, that's going to be this one. That works out well. 
uh, a single zombie. I can't remember how many actions he has left, but we're going to keep him where he is. All clear. Uh, Jill, one, two, three. She's going to spend three of her handgun ammo. Hopefully taken out this punk zombie who's decided today's a good day to uh, bother Jill Valentine when she's, you know, pretty, pretty annoyed at having to escape this burning city. Uh, but, you know, she failed everything. So um, he moves, but she can move there because she got one of these. He activates, back into her space. We get all clear. It's up to Carlos now. One, two, and he's gonna shoot at that guy. Uh, so he's actually got a couple of pushes there. So we're gonna push him backwards. One, two, three. And he's gonna move there. Natural strength, warning characters cannot push zombies, enemies, uh, zombie enemies after a failing an evade roll. Okay. Uh, so one, two, three, four. We're going to do that. Corner to locate the closest tile closest to the active character where there are enemies with no characters remove the enemy on the tile with the highest threat level and place them on the character's tile on the closest spawn point. Carlos, one, he's going to try and move now for two. Three, and we're going to do this. So, ambush. A missile strikes the car next to you, the resulting explosion sweeping you off your feet and onto the hard concrete. Through blurry eyes, you see Nemesis stalking towards you, violently shoving undead monsters out of its way. Even though the ringing in your ears... Sorry, even through the ring in your ears, you can hear the creature's sinister growl as it stomps ever closer. Persons now choose one of the following. Run for your life, spawn Nemesis stage one in the square marked on the scenario, then go to the next scenario, which is escaping through the streets continued, or stand our ground and we've got to fight the guy. So handgun-wise, we've got... I've got a potential nine damage I can do with a grenade launcher if I get a good roll every time. I'm just not sure I can actually defeat Nemesis. Well, we've got to spawn him anyway. Because it's not just Nemesis, it's all these guys as well. So Nemesis turns up there. We're gonna we're gonna try and outrun him, I think. Yeah, we're gonna run for our lives. So let's see how we get on. Okay, so we've got some new rules here. So we've got one action left with Carlos. We need to remember that. So this is the new layout. We've got all this area we need to go and explore, and that's where we're trying to get to. There is a um a typewriter here. And also one down there. We've got a couple of A items on here as well. Uh, barricade there. We've got a couple of corpses. And we should have two drain ding mosses there. But we've already spawned them on. So we don't actually have enough to put on. Um, so special rules for this. For the remainder of the scenario. If a character is on the same tile as Nemesis Stage 1. And the first card they draw in their attention faces a green card. They must draw an additional card. If a character kills Nemesis Stage 1 during the scenario. The player may immediately draw three cards from the item A deck. Okay, Carlos's last action, he is going to close this door. Um, so Nemesis, he's currently using the last, um, this is the last color on the card we got out, which means he's going for, we're using this one now. So he's currently got this one here. Uh, he's got a range of one on this, so he can't actually quite hit us there. So he's just going to move. Stars. Uh, the zombies. <laughs> They're actually there. We draw a card and it's a lurching gate. During the next player's turn, all enemies move one extra square. This is going to remain in play for one entire round. Uh, so one, two, three, four. And uh, that is a blue one. So he can actually attack Carlos. So he's attacking Carlos. Can Carlos evade this attack? Carlos cannot evade this attack. It's two damage on him. Oof. And a push. And we're going to push Carlos that away. Um, we now draw a card. It's an all clear. But we have to draw another one because we're on the same space as Nemesis. And we got another all clear. Okay, Claire's go. One, two, three. And she's picking up item C. So we now have the fuse. We have everything we need. We just have to get out of here. 
Um, so these guys, we've won two towards Carlos. And our last one was a blue. So, yep, he's in range again. Carlos is going to try and avoid. He doesn't. He takes another two damage and is pushed away. He's in the danger zone. Not the highway. Um, again, all clear. We have to draw another all clear. It's a purple this time. Which means Nemesis is going to do three damage if he manages to get in range of anybody. Yikes. So Carlos is going to go... We actually know what's on this space. Um, this is actually a Magnum. So one, two, we're picking up B. We now have the Magnum, um, which has that really fun little symbol there. And we start with six bullets on it. And we're going to keep... Do we want to keep Carlos there? I think we want to keep Carlos there. So Carlos, is, he's got one action left. We're going to move him there. One, two, three. One, two, three. Stars. He's going to be focused on the person he wants to get to. Uh, right, so uh, we draw a card. It is an all clear. We have to draw another card. Uh, something beneath. This character must immediately pass an evade roll. If they fail, they're placed on the closest spawn uh, point. Other characters have been immediately passed an evade roll. If they fail, they're placed on the closest spawn point. So, starting with Carlos. He passes. Gillicent does not pass. The closest spawn point, she's already on it, so she's fine. One, two, three. Does she want to just help Carlos out a little bit? Yeah, so she's going to spend one to shoot at... Do we want to kill the zombies or Nemesis? We're going to go for Nemesis. She's rolling one dice with a grenade launcher. We're hopefully going to hit Nemesis with this. And yep, that's a good old three damage to Nemesis. Looking for me? Is it what I imagine has just happened? As he tries to find the Nemesis health dial amongst the plethora of uh, things he now has in the box. There we go, it's upside down. So, we've done three damage to him. So, Nemesis is now on 12 health. He did not like that. One, two, one, two. Um, did they split? Well, I guess they, they can see her. So, they're going to go to her. They're stupid zombies. Um, right, and he's going to... The last card was a blue. So, he's going to move one space into there. With his buddies there. Drawing a card all clear. We had to draw another one because we're in the same space. And it's an all clear. So, Carlos. One, two. I'm going to say he's got line of sight on that. Whether you like it or not. So, he's going to be using his... Um, Magnum. He's rolling one red dice. Wish me luck. So... Um, did I move him two spaces or one space? I think I moved him one space. Uh, so apologies if I actually haven't. I've moved him two. Here he goes. Noice. That does four damage to our buddy Nemesis. And if you do maths, that means he's currently on eight health points. Uh, these zombies, though, will react to that into the same space as Claire. Um, Jill, even. Uh, you know, that worked pretty well. We're going to shoot again. Okay, that, my friend, is going to do three damage to him. It means he's on five hit points. Let's go for broke. We're going to roll again. This means the last action. Another three damage, which means he's on two hit points. Okay, um, he can't actually get onto that space there, but he's going to move into there. The last one's blue, so he actually does have... He, he doesn't even have to move. He can actually attack Jill from there. So Jill is going... She only has to worry about this guy at, attacking her. And she manages to evade? As it's that... Okay, so I'm not sure, guys. I think she manages to evade because um, she's just attack. 
you're trying to avoid this guy's attack rather than these two people on there. So I'm going to say she has actually avoided that attack. That may be incorrect. I don't know. No. Bloody Trail. Place a wound token next to any unexplored tokens on all adjacent tiles. When an unexplored token with a wound token is removed, subtract one from the roll. Uh, so we do have that. Oh, actually, no. Do we? We don't have any adjacent tiles with unexplored tokens. So we spawn a zombie on this tile on the closest spawn point, uh, which is, we're going to put it there. Why not? Jill's go. She could actually finish off Nemesis. Um, but I feel like she's going to try to run. Uh, she takes one damage and pushes the zombie away. She's going to try and uh, move again. And she takes another damage and pushes the zombie away. Do we just take out Nemesis now? She's going to use her first aid spray. She's back up to fine. And then she's going to move into here. Stars. <laughs> Only one of these this time because they're not on the same tile as... Nemesis. Carlos is go. One, two, three. He's shooting Nemesis in the back. Wish me all the luck, guys. He's got two Magnum ammo left. It's a blank, so they all activate. Uh, so he actually doesn't have enough to... Um, he can't actually hit from where he is now. So he's going to use his handgun ammo. Oh, no. One, two, three, and shoot. That was the end of his go. So these guys all activate. Uh, he attacks Jill. And do you know what I think? She I think she takes the damage from that. And she gets pushed to space. He draws a card. He gets an all clear. Okay, we're on yellow now, which means Nemesis is going to be doing a ton more damage uh, when he attacks. So Jill is going to use her... Jill's going to move back one. She's then going to use her grenade launcher. Rolling one red dice. We have done it. So that does two damage. Kills everything on that space. Uh, we get to draw three item A's. Oh, grenade rounds. Red herb. And a green herb. She's going to use her uh, grenade rounds as her last action. So she's now got five grenades. And we killed Nemesis. Had I known that Magnum was so powerful, I might have just actually gone, you know what, let's let's uh, try to win this with this. So um, we're getting attacked now. And we avoid it as Carlos. Right, Carlos is going to... Oh, wait, I didn't draw a, I didn't draw a thing for her. She got an all clear, sorry. Carlos is going to, on his turn, he's going to try and move that. Please roll well. We got a full of aid. One, two, three, four. We're running, guys. We get all clear. We are desperate to get to this typewriter because we only have a couple more rounds left before we run out. So, Jill, one, two, three. We're rolling a dice. Got a two. That's great. We win two zombies and we open the closest non locked door. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. This one is the closest. Thank God. Um, two zombies as well. She'll now be on this space. She draws. She gets lost footing. Character must immediately pass an evade roll. Uh, which she doesn't. She takes one damage and is placed in an adjacent square. We're going to move her there. Okay, Carlos. Uh, one, two, three, four. All clear. Jill's go. She's going to use our grenade launcher. Wish me luck, guys. Boosh. Two, three, four. Don't roll a one. We've got a five. All clear. One, two, three, four. Don't roll a one. It's a four. Sounds outside. If the character leads their current tile draw in the next turn, the player must draw extra cards in the next tension phase. The character, uh, this card affects all cards on this tile. Um, so we only have one card left. Jill has to get off here. So she's going one, she's going to activate this, uh, which means we shuffle all of our cards back in. Which means we'd be spawning dogs, we could be spawning drain demosses, who knows what we could be spawning. Uh, so um, she's then going to go three and she's picking up this item. Has she got enough space? Yes, she does. Uh, picking up item A and she finds grenade rounds. Oh, 
Just counting, she's got enough things. So she's got to draw an extra two tension cards. All clear. All clear. All clear. And I forgot to move these guys. Okay, so Carlos is going one. He's closing that door for two. He's then using this item box to get the first aid spray. And then she, he's using that to get himself into the green. All clear. Okay, uh, so Jill is going to put the fuse... Um, do we want to put the fuse in the item box or just run? I guess just run at this point. So she's going one, open this for two, moving there for three, not rolling a one now. And then moving there. All clear. Okay, Carlos, one. Two, three, open this door for four. All clear. Okay, so Jill, um, oh, Jill, one, two. Um, do you want to try and blast this guy? Let's try a grenade. Grenade to the face. Oh, no, let's go handgun. Old school. One, two, three. Three bullets. Let's hope we can kill this guy. We just need three hits. Not going to happen, guys, but I might push him back a little bit. Okay, so that all misses, uh, but we did get an evade, so she actually moves there. We're going to move up an additional space to uh, end her go. So he's going to move onto this space with Carlos. Oh, he doesn't need to. He's actually gotten a. He can actually hit Carlos from where he is. So Carlos needs to roll his dice and hopefully get high. Yes, he's avoided that attack, which is pretty good. We get an all clear. Carlos next is going to move into this for one. He's then going to try to. Do you know what? Let's not move. Let's use the Magnum. Wish me luck. You did not wish me enough luck, guys. So that's one action. He's then going to try and move into here for his second action. He takes damage, pushes that away, and he's taking just one damage from that attack. Three, four. All clear. Okay, uh, Jill, she's fully, she's basically got, um, yeah, she can't actually pick up any more items. Um, so we're going to go... One, two, roll on there. Three is two zombies. Mm. Tremor, next character can only perform two actions on the next phase. So he's gonna go one, two, all clear. All right, those guys would have moved. So uh, Jill is going to use her grenade launcher ammo to try and take these guys out. Uh, that will do two damage in that area. So whoosh. So that's one, two, three. I really want to end on a space with a zombie, but we're going to do it. And we're going to roll a one right about now. Oh, we did it. Huzzah. Okay, uh, so Carlos, we're going to get Carlos to... Um, Move in there for one. Pick up this item A for his second action. So I gunpowder A. Three, four. All clear. Jill is going to move in here for one. She's going to open this door for two. She's going to move in here for three. And let's go up for that item A. Why not? Four. All clear. Carlos. One, two, three. Um, four. All clear. Uh, we're going to use the green and red herb as an action for Jill to uh, basically heal all the way back up. She's going to pick this up for her next action, which she finds some shotgun shells, which she'll keep. And she's going to move that and she's going to zoom out. She's out of the level. I'm not going to draw a tension card because she's no longer in it. So one, we're going to roll the dice and probably get a one uh, about now. Okay. Uh, do we want to pick this up? There could be more ammo. Yeah, we're going to pick this up. Oh, he's got to use his gunpowder before he does anything. So we're going to use a gunpowder A, which gets him up to 15 um, in his eagle. When you roll the dice, not get a zombie. Yeah, we're going to pick this up for his third action. Oh, we have a zombie there now. That that makes sense. He did linger too much handgun bullets, of all things. Uh, and then, do you know what? Let's just use three bullets to try to kill this guy. We need to get at least one hit or Carlos takes the damage. Boof, that'll do it. All clear. 
one, two, three, four. Something beneath, we've got to immediately pass an evade roll, which we don't, so we take a damage, and then we're gonna move out of here. One, out there for two. And we have done it. We have done RPD three, which means, um, let's take a quick look over here. So our city danger level goes up one. We've completed this one. We've got all four items. So we've now unlocked Clock Tower One, which will be our next video on Resident Evil 3, the board game. Oh, uh, I kind of wish I had just decided to take out Nemesis in the first place because I wouldn't have had to do all that running at the end. I did get some good item eight, uh, at the end as well, though. So, I, you know, it was nice that I was able to get some reloads from my shotgun and the grenade launcher. Um, I'm going to rejig some of their items for next time and hopefully going into Clock Tower Part 1, or at least the Clock Tower 1 scenario, um, then we'll have a good chance of beating whatever it is is in there. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching this. If you spotted mistakes, let me know in the comments below. Hopefully I didn't completely nerf the game with something. Um, and yeah, if you want to see more of this content, then stay tuned. We're going to be putting more of these up in the not-too-distant future. Um, you can find us on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and TikTok. So please follow us there and always message us. We love chatting to you guys. And by, uh, you guys. And by we, I mean I, because I'm pretty much running the show here. Um, I've been the Ever Excited about them. Until next time, guys, stay safe or die rolling.